Hey guys, it's Josh here. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you where to put your custom CSS in Divi. More specifically, we're gonna talk about how to access and open the Divi style sheet so you can put your custom CSS right into the style sheet. So I've got a lot of questions on this recently because if you've seen any of my tutorials, you notice that I'll often right click because I'm using inspect element. I will look at the elements here, I'll customize some code, and then I'll bounce over here to my style sheet. I'll drop the code in there and it's very user-friendly and easy to work with. So this is exactly what I'm gonna show you how to do. Now, there's a few different areas you can put custom CSS in Divi. If we log into the back end here, the most notable and most common way is to go into Divi, theme options, and there's a section in the bottom for custom CSS. This is fine if you have maybe just a few lines of CSS for your site, but if I take a little bit of this code here and I drop it in, you can see that it's not color coordinated. There's no numbers to identify where this is, so it's really not the best way, I think, to customize your CSS. Another way is to go into each little module. Each module has an advanced section in Divi, and in this is where you can put IDs and classes, which you've seen me do before. And then there's a section below it where you can put custom CSS in each of the main elements. And then there's a couple other places. If you're logged in to the Visual Builder, you can actually go down here and you can click the settings icon. And then under the advanced section there, there's custom CSS in there as well. Now, this little section right here only applies to this page. So it can be useful if you're doing things you know, on certain pages. But those are a few of the main areas among others of where to put your custom CSS. But again, you probably are curious, and I know a lot of people are curious about how I pull up the style sheet directly like this. So this is what we're gonna go over. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to set up an FTP account. FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol, if you wanna get all technical. And what this means is that we're gonna basically log in directly to the files and we're gonna open up the style sheet. So before we do that, where we need to begin is we need to go into our hosting control panel. Now, I'm using SiteGround, but if you're using a different host, you should have a control panel that looks similar. If you're on GoDaddy or Bluehost or maybe a different host, uh, more than likely you should have a control panel where you're gonna see all of these different options for domains, tools, mail, and then we're gonna to come to the section here with files and we're gonna set up an actual FTP account. Okay, and once we're in our FTP accounts area, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up an account that goes directly to my files under my website. So we're gonna go ahead and click in here and I'm gonna set one up. I'm gonna call this test FTP and you can see it's test FTP at joshhall.co. We're gonna go ahead and give this a super secure password. Go ahead and duplicate that password. And here's where it's really important. Automatically, when you set up an FTP account, it's going to create its own directory under your server, but you don't want that generally. What you'll wanna do is actually take this out and you want it to go right to your site. My site, for example, is on the local root of my server, but I do have some sites under it. And what's really cool about this is you can connect directly via FTP to your subdomains or your sites that are under your main site. So for example, I have demo.joshhall.co. I've also got tutorials.joshhall.co, all of which are subdomains under my main site. So this one is gonna go right into the files of my main site, but in this case, I can look at the path and you can see this one goes to public underscore HTML slash demo.joshhall.co. That way, when I log into this one, it doesn't conflict with my files on my main site. So with that said, let's go ahead and create this FTP account and we're good to go. We can see it's set up here. So what we're gonna do is now I use a program called Transmit. This is a paid FTP client, but it's super cheap. It's like 30 or 40 bucks. And it's been what I've used and I've been using this for years. I like it, it's secure, it's reliable, it's quick. There's some freebies also. There's one called Cyberduct, that's a good one. There's FileZilla and a few others. Um, this transmit program is strictly for Mac, I think. I think there's a Windows version as well, but I'm using the Mac version. But anyway, this is what we're gonna connect to. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my server, which in this case is joshhall.co. Now, even if I were logging in as demo at joshhall.co, it's still gonna be joshhall.co server as the main address. And my username was what? TestFTP at joshhall.co. And my password was super secret. And that's all we need to do. Um, generally, it'll give you different options. You can 
sign in with uh, with different, but it's basically different ways to sign up. But generally, I just have FTP, and then usually you don't need to put anything else other than the address, your username, and your password. So let's go ahead and connect and see what happens. Okay, and that logged me into my server. Now you're going to see quite a bit here more than a normal WordPress install because again, I've got some other folders and I've got other sites on this server, but where you're gonna look for your CSS files are going to be first in your wp-content folder. So we're gonna go ahead and click in here. This is where all your theme files, all your plugins, all your uploads, pretty much all your main stuff for your site is. So from here, we're gonna go into our themes. And you can see here, we've got the main Divi theme right here, which has all this lovely PHP and all these different files, but I always use a child theme and highly recommend that you do. If you don't know what a child theme is, I'll link to some resources on that, but we're gonna click into my child theme. Now my child theme is really bare. All I have is usually a header in PHP file if I do any customiz customizations in there. My includes folder just has my custom social media icons, and then I've got my style.css, which is what we're gonna edit. So we're gonna go ahead and click this, and we're gonna open with, now I use TextMate as my code editor. There are several out there. Um, I'm actually using TextMate 2 for map, or for Mac, it's it's actually kind of an outdated program. I've just been using it for so many years. It's what I'm comfortable with, um, but I'll link to some other ones that you can try out as well. But this is exactly where I edit this code. So if I go into my personal site and I wanna edit tutorials, for example, and I look here and I can go into the code and I can see that, okay, tutorials is right here on line 237. I can go into my style sheet and go down to 237 and there it is, oh, there it is right here. So it's that easy guys. This is exactly how I link to my style sheet via FTP and Divi. Now, last thing I wanted to show you too, actually real quick was, uh, there's also this little screenshot image here. What that is, is if I go into my theme options here and I go into themes, if you have a child theme, you can replace a little image right here. So this little image right here, that's a little custom image with the Divi symbol and it says joshhall.co, that is this little image right here, this little screenshot.jpg. So all you have to do is label it screenshot.jpg and then you can put an image here. I think the width is 600 by 450 high, if I remember right. And uh, that's a pretty cool way to, to adjust that. So I hope this has helped guys again. You want to go into your control panel, into FTP accounts. You're going to set up an FTP account. Make sure that the path is to the right site. And then you're going to log in through an FTP client. And you're going to get to your files. You're going to go into your file uh, to where, you know, your theme files. And you're going to get to your child theme or the Divi theme, preferably child theme. You're going to go to your CSS. And you're going to open that in a text editor. And then, bam, you've got access to your site to where, again, uh, just like my previous tutorials have shown, you can go in here, you can you know, adjust the code, and then you can go in here and you can see the code all color coordinated. And there's adjustments that you can make with this as well. I prefer to code with a white background where I feel like most coders prefer a dark background to each his own. Um, but yeah, that's how I do it. And that's how I quickly get to all my CSS files. Oh, you know what? Last thing I wanted to show you as well is you can, there's one more area where you can get into the CSS. I meant to say this earlier, but you can go into your appearance and your editor. And then right when you go into your editor, it's gonna take you to whatever theme is active and you can get to your files from here. This right here, you can see here is the exact same file as this. You can see all the information up here. And as we scroll down, you can see all the customizations there. You can always edit things in here as well, but again, there's no numbers. It's not color coordinated. Um, generally, I will go in here if I just need to make a quick update and I don't have access to the client's FTP login or something like that. You know, if it's one line of CSS, I'll go in here and put it in here. But generally, I recommend going to your, C your style sheet in your FTP account and you'll be good to go. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, have some fun getting in uh, with FTP and uh, editing your CSS directly. All right, guys, thanks.